Here we are in front of the Broome County Courthouse where just moments ago a jury found Maurice Anthony guilty of murdering 20-year-old Eric Danzler. Among the topics covered in today's Senior Safety Day event were finding out how to prevent slips and falls, learning the warning signs of a stroke and heart attack, and staying safe behind the wheel. Two people killed in a car crash in Delaware County. It happened Sunday afternoon on the Turnpike Road in the town of Meredith. The Binghamton Zoo is undergoing what it's calling a rejuvenation. New additions include the penguin viewing area and a tropical rainforest building. Officials say that the victim had suffered minor injuries and has been transported to the hospital for further evaluation. Mm. And if you're looking for quality gelato, this is the only place in upstate New York that uses this machine. With recent flooding in surrounding counties, it's a painful reminder for the town of Union residents who are still recovering from the 2011 floods. The actual dam itself is this area here where you see the, the larger gray area. For the past seven years, Fred Warman has been working to keep floodwaters at bay. He is the head operator of the Whitney Point Dam, an embankment that helps prevent flooding in the southern tier. The purpose is to help provide flood reduction downstream of Whitney Point and actually for the Susquehanna River Basin. Construction of the dam began in 1936 in response to a flood that took place the year before. Water released from the dam flows into the Ostanique River. It played a significant role during the floods of 2006 and 2011 by preventing a combined total of about $100 million in flood damage. More recently, the dam proved to be effective during last week's rainstorm, helping to prevent a rise in the Shenango and Susquehanna rivers. Our dam only controls a portion of the water that flows downstream. Uh, but by being able to control just a portion of it, it will help reduce the flood damage. In Whitney Point, Anika Michelle, Fox 40, HD News.